What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what gear I plan on using for 2022. Since my last video of my gear, I've updated a lot of my stuff, so I wanted to go ahead and update you guys so you guys can keep up to track with the type of gear that I'm using. Since gear questions are like the number one question I get when it comes to photography related content, I thought I'd update my gear list and show you guys what type of gear I'm using these days. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive into this video and talk about what gear I use because like I said, it's the number one asked question for like anything. But before we start today's video, I wanna go ahead and give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Zyro. Zyro is an all-in-one web building platform that you can use to create your portfolio website for a lot cheaper than the competition. Or if you're into e-commerce or any of that kind of stuff, you can also use them for that as well. I personally use Zyro for my website and I have been for a while now because they offer everything that I could possibly need for a lot cheaper than the competition does. And because today's video, we are talking about gear, why not save a little bit of money and put that towards new gear by having a much cheaper website that's going to do the exact same thing. Even though Zyro is already cheaper than the competition, they're also offering a new year discount for anyone that signs up for a yearly plan. So if you do go ahead and get yourself a yearly plan and use my code Woody Darkroom or click the first link in the description, you'll get some additional discounts as well as up to four months free on any of your yearly subscriptions, which is more money in your pocket, which means that you can afford more of the gear on today's list. So if you guys like having more money at the end of the year, make sure you get yourself a cheaper website by using Zyro. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into today's video and let's start talking about the gear that I like to use. As always, all the gear and stuff will be linked in the description below as well as a time skip on the timeline somewhere so you guys can skip to what kind of gear you want me to talk about. So I will be talking about all things related to photography and mostly just photography in this video because it's what my primary audience does. So I won't be talking about like uh, video gear, like um, gimbals and stuff like that. Because one, I don't really use them. Two, not photo related. So if you guys wanna to skip to a certain part of the video and know what kind of gear I use for that, I'll have them categorized in the timeline somewhere or down in the description below, um, as well as all the links. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is lighting because lighting is the number one thing I always get asked for in terms of any gear question. It's always lighting and camera. So we're gonna talk about lighting first because it's probably the most asked question that I get, um, and rightfully so, because my lighting's pretty, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty spicy. So sometimes people are always like wondering what I use. So let's go ahead and start with the main light that I like to use when it comes to any kind of portraiture work. And that is this light by GVM. It is an 80 watt daylight balance light. And it's probably my favorite light to use because it has such good skin tones that when I'm doing anything with people, which is like 99% of my work, I like to use a light that has good, accurate skin tones, and this light has been really, really good on skin tones. And once I picked this up, this is probably one of my first upgrades that I did for lights a while ago. It was probably the best decision I ever made because it's small, it's compact, it's portable, it's very good on skin tones. It doesn't get too hot, it gets pretty bright. It's 1% is really, really dim, and it's 100% is really, really bright. And uh, yeah, basically it's like the perfect light for me when it comes to photography, um, when you need some good skin tones, which is really crucial in photography, um, at least for me. Second light is gonna be probably my favorite light when it comes to color lights, and that is the Ambitful FL80. So it's another 80 watt light. And just like the other light, it does have daylight balance, but this one is fully adjustable in terms of full RGB and full Kelvin temperature. Now, but yeah, the, R, the FL80 by Ambifol is probably my favorite light because it's the most versatile. It's a full Bowens mount, full COB. Um, it has a little protector over the LED lights. I don't have to have a carrying case with it. I can just kind of throw it in my bag. Um, it comes with a battery powered system so you can run it off of MPF batteries. The GVM does not, unfortunately. And it's fully RGB, so you can run full RGB colors in this. You can run full Kelvin temperature. I think it's like 2800 all the way up to like 8000 Kelvin. And it's really small, it's really portable, it's really compact. And it's probably my favorite light when it comes to just overall most usable light. And yeah, that is the second light on today's list. Third light on today's list is going to be the G2 or G3 by Pixel. These are my little pocket lights that I like to use. The reason I'm using these over any of the other pocket lights that I have is because I have more of these than the other ones. When it comes to lighting scenes, this little pocket light is really, really accurate when it comes to colors as well, like the other lights that I've talked about, as well as just being really small and having really long lasting battery and a really good build quality. These have like a metal build to them. This light in general is really, really nice for a lot of different 
uses and I've been using this site for a while now and they, um, Pixel sent me this like a while back. They sent me the G2 initially and then eventually they ended up sending me the G3 which is just the upgraded version of it. And I always bring at least one of these in my camera bag and I always have one of these in my car in case I ever need to have a nice little bright light with me anywhere I go. So the next thing up on today's list is light panels and I don't typically use light panels too much, but when I do, I use the GVM 1000D or the GVM 880RS or the GVM 1500D, which are essentially, they're all the same lights, just slightly different like build sizes. I think the 1000D is slightly brighter than the 880RS and the 1500D is like slightly bright and brighter than the 1000D. Um, but yeah, they're just, they're light panels at the end of the day. Um, they all have battery power um, through MPF. They both have full RGB, they both have Kelvin, they both have come with tripods, they come with carrying cases, stuff like that. Really nice little lights. And um, yeah, I like using GVM because GVM just have really, really good quality for the price that you're paying for them. Yeah, that about does it for lights. Um, as you guys know, I like using light attachments. So I like using barn doors and I also like using Fresnel lenses and that will also be in the description below. Those can be used on any of the Boeing's mount lights. Um, nothing too crazy about them. It's just, you know, and barn doors and for now lenses. So um, yeah, that is what I use when it comes to lighting. Now let's go ahead and talk about what I use when it comes to my actual camera because I always get asked what camera do I use? So in 2022, I am still rocking with the Sony a7 III. I know the Sony a7 IV just came out, but I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade to that just because I don't really see a need to. I can do whatever I do perfectly fine with my a7 III and I don't really need to have a better video camera because I have a better video camera, which is the a7S III. Um, so yeah, I'm still using the a7 III. I have a really cool skin on it. The skin is from Cam Skins and the lenses that I like to use for my a7 III, the lenses I've been using lately for the a7 III is the Rokinon 1.8 35mm, the Tamron 28-75 2.8, um, and still the 50 millimeter 1.8 from Sony. These are the, like the three lenses that I use. Typically the Tamron lives on my lens, but when I do need a little bit more low light, I do gravitate back towards the Rokinon and the little nifty 50 by Sony just because they have a slightly open, uh, a slightly more open aperture. So it allows more light in, so I don't have to push the ISO as much. Now, next thing up on today's gear list are lens filters because lens filters are one of the things that I use almost every single time I do photos. The most used lens filter that I have is my diffusion filter by DreamFX, which is the DreamFX filter. This is probably my favorite diffusion filter because it's like the perfect balance of diffusion. Um, I do also have a Promist one fourth and a Promist one half. I feel like the one half is a little bit too strong for most situations. And the Promist one fourth is about on par with the um, Prism FX Dream FX filter that I have. However, I only have the 49 millimeter thread size for that. So I can only really use it on my A6400 and my lenses for my A6400. But the other filters I like to use are the Starburst filter by Prism FX, which is like a four pointed star filter um, and also the uh, radiant filter by Prism FX. So these are the three filters I typically use. I have all of the Prism FX filters, but some of them are just a little too intense for me these days and don't really fit with the type of look that I'm trying to go for. So um, yeah, these are the filters that I like to use the most. Next up on today's gear list is the backpack that I'm using. So I am using a Caden backpack from Amazon. I'm using like the full size Caden backpack. Last year I was using the mini, which is still a really good backpack and I still really, really like it. However, it's just, it's too small for me and um, you know, it is, I can't really fit all the gear that I want to. Um, if I do end up just doing like a really small shoot, I will just bring the Caden backpack with me, the, the mini one, but um, my primary backpack is this model on the screen right now. This is like a full size backpack, uh, very customizable, has everything you need, fits all my gear and it, is like the perfect backpack and it's really cheap you know i feel like you don't really need to spend a ton of money on a on a nice backpack if you guys have any other questions on gear that i might have missed leave it down in the comment section below and i will reply to you guys there but i think i covered all the bases when it comes to photography make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future content as well as drop a like and leave a comment so the algorithm pushes the video to new viewers um, this is a little bit more of a boring video but i like making this video for the people that care about the gear so i don't have to answer the questions all the time um yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one see ya Thank you.